right now, Dollywood is in the process of making modifications to their Gerstlauer Eurofighter Mystery Mine. These changes to the ride is supposed to provide a smoother, thus better overall experience for the rider. As of what I can see, the only changes that have been made is a small portion of the track after the first vertical lift. After climbing the lift, the train travels over a bridge of sorts, which this portion looks to have stayed the same, then comes to a block break. The original layout would see you diving into a near vertical plunge, then flying right back up into a unique, elevated 180 degree turn. Well, the upgraded track has changed this portion by simply omitting this entire section of the ride. The roller coaster now takes a dive to the left, right from the block break, this time with a more gradual decline. Mystery Mind then skips the overbank turnaround element and simply enters the upward half helix into the next block break. For some, this section of the ride was one of their favorite moments. The near vertical drop provided some insane airtime, but at a cost. This transition was also one of the roughest spots of the ride. You were almost sure to bash your head off the headrest, then slam into the restraints as you perform that turnaround. If you are a fan of this part of the ride, then these changes will come as a negative. However, I do believe that the majority of Dollywood's guests will appreciate this upgrade. Their heads will thank them when they disembark the ride without a throbbing headache. Change can be a hard thing to accept for some, especially when it's an alteration to your favorite attraction. At one time, I considered Mystery Mine to be my favorite roller coaster in the park. The theming and quirky layout is what appealed to me. However, during my last visit to the park, Mystery Mine went from my favorite to least favorite, and most of it was due to how rough this coaster has gotten. As you can hear me in the POV, this section of the track that has gotten changed is where I yell out in pain. <laughs> it was a fun moment of the ride, but honestly, I would rather ride Mystery Mine without getting a headache. Now, I think many other roller coasters can learn a lesson from these changes that Mystery Mine is taking. There are plenty of older steel roller coasters out there that are becoming unrideable. There is a reason why we are seeing arrow looping roller coasters getting replaced with something modern. Their transitions are janky, making for some unpleasant riding experiences. Now, instead of removing Mystery Mine, Dollywood wanted to come up with a solution that would save this beloved attraction. By removing the problematic sections of the ride, Dollywood has turned this unpleasant attraction back into one of the park's marquee thrill machines. If Dollywood was able to salvage this attraction, then why can't other parks do the same with their rough steel coasters? I touched on this topic in one of my recent videos, Roller Coasters That Could Use an Upgrade, where I mentioned a few steel coasters getting modifications to their current layout. Mystery Mine was listed amongst the lineup, but as we can see now, Dollywood was already a step ahead of me. So, what if Busch Gardens Williamsburg decided to make some changes to their beloved Loch Ness Monster by fixing some of its janky transitions? Imagine, instead of removing Vortex at King's Island, which unfortunately happened already, was instead saved by fixing some of the ride's problematic elements with a smoother, more enjoyable ride experience. Let's look at Gemini, which is operating at Cedar Point. The ride has some great moments of airtime, but also a lot of janky transitions that cause for a rough ride. If this roller coaster could be modified, improved upon its original layout to provide more airtime and less rough spots, Gemini would instantly become one of the better coasters in the park. Not to mention, its already great ride capacity could keep up with the ride's new demand. I feel like we could be at the cusp of another coaster revolution, something similar to what RMC did with wooden roller coasters, which, by the way, didn't go over well when they first hit the market. In that, I mean, yes, it was a commercial success, but wooden coaster purists were trembling in their boots at the thought of their favorite wooden coaster getting gutted. The same fears will be faced with these new changes to steel roller coasters. Ride purists will be upset. But, to make changes, you will be roughing some feathers in the process. Do I want to see every old steel coaster get modifications? No, I don't. But, at the same time, I realize, like any other industry, you have to evolve to stay alive. Just because we have a particular fondness to an attraction, doesn't mean the amusement park has to cater to our wishes. 
Coaster enthusiasts make up a small percentage of their overall attendance numbers. They need to make money in order to create newer, more exciting roller coasters. Sometimes that will come at a cost that we might be a little hesitant to pay. Right now, with a pandemic going on, amusement parks, like most other industries, are looking for ways to trim the budget. If they can come up with a low cost solution that enhances some of their current roller coasters, boosts the ride attendance for that attraction, then in a way they sort of made up their own new ride. These roller coaster upgrades could be the solution to keeping their theme parks alive and relevant during a time when building massive new coasters isn't a viable option. Getting back to Dollywood, not only is Mystery Mine going under the knife, but so is Lightning Rod. Just like some will be upset over the changes to Mystery Mine, I know that many will be upset with the changes to Lightning Rod. But, for both, I think these changes are a positive move. Lightning Rod is only 5 years old and was getting more rough than roller coasters that predated it. This coaster is intense, maybe too intense for its wooden coaster track. These updates, which include steel iBox track, will allow Lightning Run to operate more efficient and provide a smoother ride experience. Those who are a fan of the rough nature will be disappointed, but just like Mystery Mine, the majority is going to love this upgrade and will help increase the longevity of Lightning Rod. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. I really hope other amusement parks look to Dollywood for inspiration on what to do with their aging steel coasters. If they can find a way to improve on them, thus saving these problematic steel coasters from destruction would be a win in my book. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button, and as always, subscribe. That way you'll continue to get more great content brought to you by X-Scream Thrills.